This three-masted frigate seems to have sailed right out of the 18th century. Hermione, the replica of the Marquis de Lafayette's famous ship. Since her launch in 2014, the ship has traveled 22,000 nautical miles, or 40,000 kilometers. Today, this exceptional vessel is welcoming on board an atypical crew. Those boarding, this way, please. <laughs> Have fun. Professional sailors will be supervising 60 or so young men and women who have paid 850 euros each to be trained as riggers. Oops, I forgot. Watch your step. Use the handrail. And every time Emilion sails, a new crew is on board. Oriane, bunk 22, just next door. Oriane will be sailing for the first time, but she knows that a few hours' sleep will be precious. It's important to prepare it well, as this will be my snug nest for two weeks. We all have a 100-litre chest like this, all the same. And this is my one. Once settled in, the sailors hand out protective clothing in case of a storm. Don't forget, trousers underneath and a fleece on top. The trainee riggers are impatient to leave. They know they're embarking on an extraordinary adventure. Here we go. The start of our two weeks at sea. And we can't wait to get out on deck. At the aft of the ship, the captain shows us his cabin. A perfect copy of the one used by Lafayette. So this is the captain's cabin, which isn't very big. It's quite spartan because there's not much room on board. So there's minimal furniture, just enough to store a few belongings. In 1780, Lafayette crossed the Atlantic on Hermione to bring his support to Americans fighting for their independence. Three centuries later, Hermione is once again raising her anchors. The frigate will be making several stops off the coast of Brittany. For the fledgling sailors, the adventure is at last beginning. Is the dream come true? Yes, it is. I'm all emotional. I can't take it in. Out at sea, conditions can change very rapidly. A two meter 50 swell. The waves grow bigger. What's up? Do they need a hand up there? Yeah. They quickly need to climb the rigging 25 meters up in the air. 20 of them stand on the yard to fasten the mainsail. It mustn't catch a big gust or it could rip. The maneuvers are often acrobatic and exhausting. But that's the aim of the voyage, to test the crew's reactions and endurance. The riggers will stay up there for an hour and a half. The hardest thing, look at my hands, is holding the mainsail. The canvas became very, very stiff and heavy. Four sailors are needed to take the helm. But a few of them can do nothing about seasickness. But suddenly, some dolphins. Sailors say they announce the return of fine weather. Hermione is once again sailing in ideal conditions. For the captain, the replica of the frigate has no reason to envy the original. 
C'est un volier exceptionnel. She's an exceptional ship. A real rarity. She holds an incredibly steady speed at seven and a half knots in this wind, with no stress. That's very fast. Outstanding performances for an outstanding ship. It took no fewer than 17 years to build. A crazy gamble made by a bunch of maritime history buffs. Their ambition? To construct a three-masted frigate with the same techniques and the same materials as in the 18th century. In all, this gigantic project cost around 25 million euros, mostly paid for with state funding. The day draws to an end, and the frigate will drop anchor in the Bay of Douanane. Drop anchor. For a few hours, the sailors will be able to relax and rest. That evening, on the deck, there are smiles and camaraderie all around, after getting through this storm as a team. Since 2014, more than 500 riggers have been trained on board Amion.